Then the princes of the fathers' houses, and the princes of the tribes of Israel, and the captains of thousands and of hundreds, with the rulers over the king's work, offered willingly, and they gave for the service of the house of God of gold 5,000 talents and 10,000 derricks, and of silver 10,000 talents, and of brass 18,000 talents, and of iron 100,000 talents, and they with whom precious stones were found gave them to the treasure of the house of the Lord, under the hand of Jehiel the Jershonite. Then the people rejoiced, for that they offered willingly, because with a whole heart they offered willingly to the Lord. And David the king also rejoiced with great joy, wherefore David blessed the Lord before all the congregation. And David said, Blessed be thou, O Lord, the God of Israel our Father, forever and ever, thine, O Lord is the greatness, and the power, and the glory, and the victory, and the majesty, for all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all, both riches and honor come of thee, and thou rulest over all, and in thy hand is power and might, and in thy hand it is to make great, and to give strength unto all. Now therefore, our God, we thank thee, and praise thy glorious name. But who am I, and what is my people? that we should be able to offer so willingly after this sword for all things come of thee, and of thine own have we given thee, for we are strangers before thee, and sojourners, as all our fathers were, our days on the earth are as a shadow, and there is no abiding, O Lord our God, all this store that we have prepared to build thee a house for thy holy name cometh of thy hand, and is all thine own, I know also, my God, that thou freest the heart, and hast pleasure in uprightness, as for me, in the uprightness of my heart I have willingly offered all these things, and now have I seen with joy thy people, that are present here, offer willingly unto thee, O Lord, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Israel, our fathers, keep this forever, even the imagination of the thoughts of the heart of thy people, and erect their heart unto thee, and give unto Solomon my son a whole heart, to keep thy commandments, thy testimonies, and thy statutes, and to do all these things and to build the palace, for which I have made, provision. And David said to all the congregation, Now bless the Lord your God. And all the congregation blessed the Lord, the God of their fathers, and bowed down their heads, and prostrated themselves before the Lord, and before the king. And they sacrificed sacrifices unto the Lord, and offered burnt offerings unto the Lord. On the morrow after that day, even a thousand bullocks, a thousand rams, and a thousand lambs, with their drink offerings, and sacrifices in abundance for all Israel, and did eat and drink before the Lord on that day with great gladness. And they made Solomon the son of David king the second time, and anointed him unto the Lord to be prince, and Zadok to be priest. Then Solomon sat on the throne of the Lord as king instead of David his father, and prospered, and all Israel hearkened to him, and all the princes, and the mighty men, and all the sons likewise of King David, submitted themselves unto Solomon the king, and the Lord magnified Solomon exceedingly in the sight of all Israel, and bestowed upon him such royal majesty as had not been on any king before him in Israel. Now David the son of Jesse reigned over all Israel, and the time that he reigned over Israel was forty years, seven years reigned he in Hebron, and thirty and three years reigned he in Jerusalem, and he died in a good old age, full of days, riches, and honor, and Solomon his son reigned in his stead. Now the acts of David the king, first and last, Behold, they are written in the words of Samuel the seer, and in the words of Nathan the prophet, and in the words of Gad the seer, with all his reign and his might, and the times that went over him, and over Israel, and over all the kingdoms of the countries.